So moving on to the next question that PM Modi made a comment that he wants to make or that the government wants to make Indian economy a 5 trillion dollar economy. But in an interview, one economist told us that if you want to make India a 5 trillion economy, you should have a growth rate somewhere in between 12.5 to 13 percent. With the indicators, I would like to quote some indicators. Employ unemployment is highest in last five years. Agricultural growth dips to 2.9 percent. Auto sales growth dips to lowest in three years. Air travel growth lowest in six years. With the bad performing indicators like these, can we and see uh, this 5 trillion dream transpire into reality or this is another tall claim that like doubling the farmer's income by 2022 this is going to meet the same fate. Let us stick to basic facts. Whenever one has a figure like 5 trillion, it's in constant US dollars. A country's GDP is not in dollars. A country's GDP is in rupees. So the first assumption one has to make is about the exchange rate. When an in, whenever an economy does reasonably well, the exchange rate tends to appreciate. And I want to stress this from the point of view of pushing exports, we may want the exchange rate to depreciate. But when an, whenever an economy does relatively well, it the rupee tends to appreciate. If the rupee tends to appreciate, it makes that 5 trillion easier because the same rupees now convert mm -hmm. into. But all right, let's leave that aside. Let's assume the exchange rate is the same. If I do the projections now, no projection, you can sit down with a calculator and your economist friend can sit down with a calculator and demonstrate to me how it requires 12 percent. Growth has an exponential factor. If someone tells me that by present rates of growth, by present rates of growth, we will reach 5 trillion not in 2024, we will reach it by 2027. I can believe that. If someone tells me to reach 2024, we need 8.5% growth rate. I can believe that. But 12%, the person should change his calculator. So I will rephrase it and say that the question to ask is, how do we jack up rates of growth to about 8.5%? Whether it is driven by agriculture, what automobiles are doing is beside the point. Okay. But the fundamental point is the question that came up earlier, that to get there, Either net exports have to do well, private investments have to do well, consumption expenditure has to do well, or public expenditure has to do well. That is one way of looking at it. Or the alternative way of looking at it is I need to get the savings rate up, I need to get the investment rate up, I need to get higher productivity. Now all of these are different methods, different routes. All of them need to work in combination. And as I said, if you just go by present trends, we will probably get to 5 trillion because there is an exponential effect by about 2027. So it is a question of moving that forward from 2027 or thereabouts to 2024, which means that on all of these one has to do better or the alternative way to look at it is many countries have had aspirational targets. An aspirational target is always a good objective to work towards because even if you get 90% of what you are aspiring to get towards, even if it is not 100%, even then it is a good outcome. Take the example of ODF, open defecation free. Mm -hmm. Have we got open defecation free everywhere? We have not. But we have got it in probably 90% of the districts. So aspiration also has a very desirable outcome. 